blessings this afternoon some of the stories that we have here missing 13 year old girl found with man in saint catherine also coming up the underwear of a minor was removed by a 42 year old pastor boy so-called spiritual leader hey my daughter is very young you know she not ready for a boyfriend yet she's not over the age of 16 years as a matter of fact it's 18 for me because no government now tell me when for let out my pitney or turn out my pitney them to man my daughter take off my daughter panty hey smaddy head i go roll you know yeah man your friend for the pastor head a roller come like sibla range you can turn the like him church members them take up go make juice because of them appraise him so that's and more but first and foremost most importantly remember that if you're new to the channel if it is your first time over here bro please i'm asking you to subscribe sis i would appreciate that plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way there so that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel on this channel and also remember you know to give this video a like like always for youtube algorithm blessings and more beatitude intro soon forward And as we head on over to St. Catherine, a 13-year-old ward of the state who had been reported as missing was found traveling with a man at a police military checkpoint in St. Catherine where a state of emergency was recently imposed. Hey, someone brave still, you know, imagine of the people underage daughter that is um, that has been reported missing a try to break through a military checkpoint. A front sweet him. Can start already, you know. A sweetie sweetie him say I move to my next location now to go finish Saka Saka the pitney front. The joint police military checkpoints in the state of the public emergency in St. Catherine have proven effective as team at the Angel Spanish Town checkpoint was able to identify the missing 13 year old girl and arrest the man on Friday June 17. He has since been charged charged with illegal trespassing as in RAPE, grievous sexual assault and sexual touching of a child is 26 year old Curtis Hamilton of Top Mountain in Kitsentown, St. Catherine. Reports are that about 5 pm a vehicle with Hamilton and the teen was stopped at the checkpoint. The police were able to identify the teen as a ward of the state who was reported missing. Investigations reveal that Hamilton engaged in sexual activities with the child, including illegal trespassing, which is RAPE. As a result, he was arrested and charged. His court date is being finalized. And um, please, I'm asking you to take good note of his name. He is Curtis Hamilton. He is 26 years old and he's from Top Mountain, way up on the mountain top in Kitsentown, St. Catherine. Take note because he's now a criminal. I saw we expose him every secret a leak over the side so leave a comment and make your opinion counts down in the comment section and if you reach this far please i'm asking you to like the video all i need in return is just a like on my videos still in spanish town saint catherine boy spanish town a take life and them a take front can you imagine and if you don't give up a front you know them a take your life Detectives assigned to the Center of Investigation for Sexual Offenses and Child ABUs, Sisoka, arrested and charged a spiritual leader with illegal trespassing, RAPE, grievous sexual assault, and sexual touching of a child. The offenses were allegedly committed on Friday, May 6, during an exorcism exercise. And for all who don't understand, for all who don't know the meaning of exorcism, it is a process where if you claim it's a dopey now, you go to a spiritual reader. Some people got hold your man to take out the dopey. So basically, the mother, the parents, for the child claims a dopey in the pitney. So they send the pitney to the pastor yard for the pastor to remove the dopey scene. But it was a process of something for something. 
take out and put in because him take out the dopey. As a matter of fact, him not real send me take out the dopey. Him take out him instrument and put in a pitney. That is the oh, that is the process. That is what went down. See? Instead of removing, he inserted something. The perpetrator has been identified as Joma Hepburn, a 42 year old big seed Hepburn of Garden Boulevard in Spanish Town St. Catherine. And listen, in cases like these, it's when a man trespass illegally upon a woman's property, whether, um, whether she's underage or an adult, listen to me no man, bridge light. See? You see? The JPS wire outside upon the post, the top wire at 220, the middle of grounds, the lower one is um, 110. So get two pieces of wire. Instead, the one we are going to wrap around the shaft part, see? Put it on the 110, the wire upon the lower section, upon the lower end. And you see the one we are going to wrap around in seed bag, put it on the middle wire, which is the grounds, and then on a bridge light. Reports are that the child was sent to Hepburn for him to perform an exorcism exercise during which he committed SEX while acts including RAPE, illegal trespassing. A report was subsequently made to the police and Hepburn was arrested and charged. His court date is being finalized. The investigation is ongoing. And some of these mothers are to be blamed as well because you know what? Someone who trust pastors to a, um, to a level where you believe say pastor can be trusted so you can send a daughter go up a pastor if a pastor take out dopey or rebuke dopey out of the child some of you mothers are putting you and um, putting your faith too much in me, me um, in humans uh, on a whole because listen you see pastor doctor teacher most of those persons are not genuine you know? but i feel like them look the job or they're in that position because they are qualified most pedophile choose a job where they can't have pity to deal with but then can't have pity if you choose from. You understand me? So you're gonna find out say a pastor, a teacher that is um that is in a, um, a, an educational institution. He not teach because he wanna teach willingfully, you know, and because he have kicks for pitney. You understand me? He have a urge for pitney, he have nature for pitney. So he put himself in a position where he can't have pitney people pitney for pick and choose from, where he can't have many girl child for pick and choose from. So pastor not so teacher and teach many teachers, male teacher and teach because they want to teach. They only in the position because they have kicks with pitney, they have a urge with pitney, they have a nature with pitney, and they want have many pitney to choose from. And they are going to pray on the weaker ones. You understand me? Because they can ramp with some people pitney, you know. Some people, some pitney just rank like that, and they can ramp with them. But they are going to pray on the on the weaker ones, the ones that are more vulnerable. So now, nobody feel like the pastor preach because he want preach. Many of them now preach because they want preach. They only put themselves in a position to get access to satisfy their needs. So therefore, you're sending you send a little daughter go up at the pastor yard to perform exorcism exercise and what the pastor basically do. Him take advantage of the picnic because she was vulnerable. She is vulnerable. She weak. You understand me? You can't blame the child either. So therefore, some of these mothers are to be blamed because they're putting the trust in a human being too much and the Bible tells us that they're not trust your one. So what I'm trying to say. And when he perform all his acts on the child now, she's gonna live with all this trauma because from time to time it is gonna have it, it is gonna take a toll on her mental state. She she's gonna have constant flashbacks. You get how much I've said. She's going to live with all of this trauma until the breath leave the body because God give it and he take it. So she's gonna live with all of this trauma. She gonna have flashbacks, it's gonna traumatize her. She's gonna have constant mood swings. She won't be able to keep a relationship that has stability because this moment she likes the man, the next moment she no wants the man. This moment she's happy and comfortable with her partner, the next moment she have mood swings, she no like her partner, she chip out, she zone out, all because of what men did to her while she was a child or when she was a child growing up. These things do affect females mentally. See? So when you catch them man, you get two pieces of wire. That is all it takes. Two pieces of wire. See? And then you throw them up on the JPS something. And then the wire we are going to put on the JPS. Bottom wire. The wire up on the bottom, on the lower section. Wrap that around the long part. The shaft part. And the one we are going to put around in seed bag. The balls them. You throw up that on the JPS. And make the wire which is the grounds. And then on a the bridge light. Because honestly, you can't carry them man. You're going to face the judge. Because they are going to get a slap on the wrist. They are going to get a 10 year sentence, a 9 year sentence, a 7 year sentence and by the time, by the time I look, them out the road again. 
trying to trespass illegally on someone else's property. See, it no longer work. It is not acceptable and it will not be tolerated. See, good. Minister of National Security and Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Oris Chang has ordered a probe into the tabling of the wrong regulations for the state of emergency now in effect in St. Catherine. The regulations were tabled in the House of Representatives on Tuesday. In a statement Thursday, Dr. Chang said the error is regretted. He said an investigation will be done into how the error occurred. Dr. Chang said the correct regulations in keeping with the recent court ruling will be tabled in the House when parliamentarians meet at 2 p.m. today, this Thursday. The regulations will then be brought to the Senate on Friday. The government has been taken to task by the parliamentary opposition after news emerged Wednesday that it tabled the wrong regulations for the state of emergency now in effect in St. Catherine. Spokesperson on Justice, Senator Donna Scott Motley on Wednesday night expressed alarm at the follow-up. Senator Scott Motley said there was a lack of oversight in the review of the emergency powers regulations even after the court had just declared some of those regulations unconstitutional in its ruling on Friday. Nobody took any care, nobody read them before they were tabled, nobody exercised any kind of caution, and that is appalling in the circumstances. Especially after the court declared some of those regulations unconstitutional just Friday, the parliament was not scheduled to sit on Tuesday, and it was called together for primarily that reason to table those regulations. For the wrong ones to have been tabled, it meant that nobody took any care. Nobody read them before they were tabled. Nobody exercised any kind of caution. And that is appalling in the circumstances. So, there you have it. And remember that if you're new to the channel, if it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe. Plus, click the notification bell. And while doing so, select option all. So, that way, you'll be the first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel, on this channel. And also remember to give this video a like, like always for YouTube algorithm, blessings and more beatitude. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.